All right, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to another episode of Thinker Thoughts. Uh, in today's episode, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about the importance of writing things down. Now, you guys have probably heard of this thing so many times, and it's just you guys might not see the importance of it because I definitely didn't see it. Um, it's one of those things where you don't you don't start doing it because you're like, oh, it won't help anyway, and then you start doing it and y- you sort of get surprised as to how beneficial it really is to just simply write some goals down. Now, I've been reading this book uh, called How to Get Straight A's in University uh, by Cal Newport. Uh, This author was someone who, um, he's sort of specialized, he's a university professor and he's specialized in trying to find ways to teach students how to best master their skills and um, try to become better students, how to efficiently manage time and fight the urge of procrastination, which is something that appealed to me. Like I, as much as I want to stay on task, I often struggle to uh, manage my time and sort of nail my priorities. Uh, I'd rather, you know, I'd want to get really good at that. And basically after reading this book, if I could narrow down the message to the biggest possible thing, the biggest lesson and the most you know, important thing to do to improve in all aspects is the following. What you want to do is you want to grab a piece of paper, whether it's line paper from a diary, you just like rip it out of some diary, like a small doesn't have to be too big. And that is your to do like that's your list. Okay, so what you want to get done for that day. Okay, it doesn't have to be necessarily for that day. But it's just in general, like, let's say you came back from like a vacation and uh, you come back and you have you're swamped with work, like you have so much stuff to catch up on. So the way I do it is I divide my um, this list into subjects. So I have like, you know, marketing, you know, applications, like all that stuff. And under each section, you want to write down all the things that you need to do for that subject that helps sort of creating a mind map of all the different subjects that you have to take care of. So you can split it by subject. Now, once you do that, you have to start with your day. Now, your day, you take another thing. You take another, another. I, I keep a little diary. This is really small. And I literally just split it into two columns. So on the left, I write my schedule. Okay. So this is like the classes I have. So from 1230 to two o'clock, I have marketing. From two to three, like I write my schedule. And what I want to do is find gaps in that schedule where I can squeeze in my to-do list, right? As many things as possible. Now, um, so that's how you start. So by the end of it, you should have a day that is relatively full. Like you're going to want to try to do as much as you can. But so you have this list down. Obviously, you can't do 40 things in a day, right? Like it'd be impossible. Like we'd be crazy. Um, so the things that you can't do, let's say I plan to do my, um, you know, like research for my thesis. Like I have a thesis upcoming. Okay. So I plan to do research for my thesis, but then like during the day, like I planned it from two to three, but then from two to three, my friend calls and he's like, yo dude, let's, uh, let's go play soccer or something like that. And then I go play with so- soccer with him because that's far more enjoyable. Now this leaves like the the um, the research for my thesis is something I didn't do for that day so I transfer it to my reminders to my reminders uh column that's the second column on the right and you can predict what happens next like the next day I try to shift my reminders list to my to-do list and as you go along you should try like you're gonna end up realizing that the list is going to get shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. So that's the, that's the process. Obviously not easy to start, but if you get into the habit of, okay, you start the day, you rip out a piece of paper. This is everything I need to do. And then you take all that and you quantify it into a two column list, a two column table that you do every day. As I said, things are going to get ducked down. So yeah, this is just a really quick video, quick strategy that, um, has helped me and is currently helping me like manage my time and, um, you know, 
and it's honestly made studying more enjoyable because it's making me see it as less of a like torturous activity and more of like okay what can i do now what can i do now so yeah hopefully this video helped uh you guys make sure to like and subscribe and uh tune out for more episodes coming up in the future peace